I've been interested in meteorology since I was a small child, maybe five or six years old. And you know, a lot of my students, they tell me the same story. I always feel that people aren't made to be meteorologists, they're born to be meteorologists. I've always been interested in meteorology since I was, oh God, about maybe eight years old. During the storm in 1978, we had over three feet of snow, so it just got me going and thinking of, you know, just the, the possibilities that the atmosphere holds and, and things like that. Ever since I was a little, uh, little boy, I, I loved weather and I, that continued through my middle school years and high school. And when I got to high school, I knew what I wanted to do, which was meteorology. I looked at the other northeast, uh, northeast schools like Linden and Plymouth State, but I thought this would be the perfect fit for me. I like the small size of it. Uh, some of the schools that I was applying to were uh, Penn State and Ohio University, which are both like 20,000 people, and I, I like the small size of Westcon, and there's not too many small schools with a meteorology program. We have a Bachelor of Science degree program in meteorology with two options, one of them in theoretical meteorology and one of them in operational meteorology and weather casting. Meteorologists in, in study many things. They focus a little bit less on the surface and more perhaps up in the clouds. I am more involved with air-sea interaction, how the atmosphere interacts with the ocean, and that has uh, implications for things like El Nino and La Nina, perhaps you've heard of that. Also uh, hurricanes and nor'easters, we have a lot of those in Connecticut and New England. The other option is operational meteorology and weather casting, and that's geared more for those students that want to be weather forecasters or really more specifically broadcast meteorologists, forecasters who also communicate the weather on radio or television. That's a very exciting career. We have the students doing a daily television weathercast, which is seen really all throughout the world on the internet for anyone that, that gets the link. Uh, this gives them a chance to really get a hands-on feel for what it is to be a TV weathercaster. Doing the weather people once or twice a week is a great experience. You get a lot of hands-on with doing the broadcasting. We start off with making out our own forecasts and um, presenting it to the public. It's a growing program here and I think um, there's a lot to offer with the classes, the, the ability to do uh, weather broadcasts here, the ability to work in the weather center and gain work experience, the ability to meet other meteorology students. I do think it is a very tight-knit group. If you don't understand a concept, there's other people that are willing and and know that they can help you. And it really helps the learning process that you have that tight-knit group of friends that you can learn from. It's a fairly small program, maybe 40 or 50 students in the four years. We have a few faculty, not that many, but they're very, very good at what they do, good teachers, and they work very closely with the students. We're relatively new. We've been, uh, the BS program's been around three, four years. Um, we have several uh, faculty who are very interesting to listen to, of course. Um, and we also have a brand new science building, which is great. We have new facilities, new offices, new classrooms, and lots of new equipment. This is an amazing building, it, it really is. Classrooms are, are just more spacious, they have uh, different uh, tools that we could use. New offices, new classrooms, new laboratories, and maybe most importantly, a brand new weather center. That's the heart of the meteorology program. There's a lot of technology that that we're able to use now, and it, it brings us up to par with the schools like Ohio University and Penn State. It's a state-of-the-art building, and we're getting high-quality research-grade equipment that we can use to, to run experiments, to participate in student-faculty research. We'll be working with faculty and students that have a real enthusiasm for weather. Visit WestCon, visit our program, see what the people are like. It's close to home, it's affordable, it, it's a great program.